Hello, Virgos. How's August going so far? I hope it's going great. I'm sorry that I'm a few days late instead of early. I had some personal stuff going on. But I am here for you. And I did a pre-shuffle. And I kept seeing butterflies for y'all. I don't know what was up with that. I think it's like some kind of transformation. Like maybe you're going from like sad to happy or secure to insecure or secure insecure to just secure. I, I don't know. I just I, I just kept seeing butterflies in my mind. And when I think of butterflies, I think of transformation. Just so you know, this is your August monthly reading. Of course, like this isn't going to resonate with everyone. I hope it resonates with most of you. I'm Stella and I hope that uh, you'll subscribe to the channel. I'm a newbie here on YouTube and I'm doing the best that I can. I've been a reader for over 20 years um, in my 40s now, so pretty wise at this point. Just remember that this is for um, Virgo, uh, the Sun, Moon, and Rising, of course, and Venus. It doesn't matter what part of your chart. If you have you know, Virgo in any part of your chart, this is going to resonate with you in some way. It might not all resonate. Take what you can. Throw the rest out. You know the drill. Um, also, time is fluid, so no matter when you see this, it's when the universe means you to see it. The universe has a plan for you. They always do. They're going to give you the lessons you need to learn. It's going to give you exactly what you need whenever you need it. Okay? So we're just going to do like a simple layout today. And I will start doing extended soon once I get more followers. And I am used to doing live readings, but I'm acquainting myself to YouTube pretty well. I feel like I'm tapping into the general collective, and I feel like a lot of people are going to feel this because I know you guys feel that transformation going on right now. Like there's just something changing in your life that is like, it's not like completely life changing, but it's like this feeling where you know something's going to be different. You're just not sure how yet, but something is, is changing within you. And it's going to make you a different person and a better person. All right, let's check bottom of the deck for your overall energy, which is the lovers. That's Gemini um, energy. Um, lovers is not a bad overall energy for August. You know, last month of summer for most of us in the states, well, northern states. But I feel like, you know, Gemini, the lovers doesn't mean just making love or having a lover. It means also like picking a lover and having an option in love, which I feel like you guys don't know yet. Like, I feel like that's where that transformation is going to come from, is that you guys are really going to find out like your worth this month. You're really going to see it and you're going to acknowledge it. And I don't feel like you have acknowledged your worth enough you need to acknowledge your worth so much more and it's coming for you and it trust me you're a virgo you're worth it you guys get your work done you get got your crap together you're, you like do everything and then on top of it i have never met a virgo that isn't like the life of the party and you know you are so don't deny that all right let's get to reading Oh, also, I want to let everyone know, if you subscribe and then just comment at the bottom, I give out free readings every Friday. I just did my first free reading, and it was so much fun to talk to her. We actually talked for an hour and, like, 20 minutes and did her reading, and she was really excited. So I hope to give someone else one this week, too. All right, so your past energy is the Three of Pentacles, which is like wanting to work on something. So in your past, you wanted to work on something. Could be Capricorn, um, Taurus, or Virgo, just like yourself. And Earth signs go amazing with Earth signs. Don't forget that. You know, and your present energy is death. And what did I tell you? Transformation. Death does not mean dying or just a breakup. It means transformation. You saw me shuffle and you saw me cut these decks. This is your present energy. You are going through a transformation right now. Okay. This is 
whatever is going to happen this month is going to just change you. And it could be a small way. It could be in a large way. But it is going to change you. Spirit, my spirit is good. Like, he tells me good stuff. I know I always say he, but I just feel like he's a he. All right, another major arcana. We have the Hydrophant. Okay, so when we're talking about the Hydrophant, I mean... That can mean you're just um, dating a Taurus, a fellow Taurus, or it can be you. It can be marriage. It can be, you know, any type of, like, you know, um, government uh, or public company. Just, it, it could, this could even relate to your job. And this is in your subconscious feeling. So in the subconscious, you might be a little bit worried about your job right now. But a lot of people are just because of what's going on in the world. So I could totally understand where that's coming from. But I really feel like it's it, it can also be like about official situations. But I feel like more like it's more like you guys just want more. And you're going to transform to get more. Like and you're going to get it. You're going to get it because it's in your, whatever's in your subconscious, usually you make happen, even though you don't even know that's what you're thinking about that will make you the happiest, but it will, I promise. Okay. in your obstacles category, another major arcana. Okay. That's four major arcana out of five cards. All right. We have temperance here. This is balance. This is in your obstacles. Okay. It could also mean you're dating a Sagittarius, but you know, you just want balance in your life right now. And I'm sorry, I said Taurus. I meant Virgo. You could be dating a Taurus. You are a Virgo. I'm sorry. Okay, after that, and the influence of others is the Nine of Swords. They think you're very stressed out. So the people around you may be a little bit worried about you right now. So if the people around you are a little worried right now, I want you to just kind of try to reassure them. Like, if you feel like, you know, people are worried about you, if they don't need to be worried about you, reassure them that you're just, you know, you're just transforming. You're becoming a different person and you're having different standards for yourself. You're not going to put up with any bull crap that you did before. Excuse my language. And you're not going to deal with anything that you dealt with before. You're, you want new. Like, you want, you want this happiness that you feel coming to you and you know is coming to you with this lover's card like and you have the option to choose it you just have to reach out and choose it all right and then what you should do is the three of wands which you know when we're thinking about the three of wands you know you have options and decisions to make so this month really is going to be all up to you it is going to be based on what you, I mean, we have free will. I can give you advice because we're going to go through and clarify, but it's going to be all about you. And in your outcome, is going to be the Knight of Cups. Now, we're looking at the Knight of Cups. This is somebody that is probably pretty new in your life because he's a knight. He's not a king yet, but he's going to give you a little bit of love. All right, my dog's coming down. So if you hear some huffing and puffing, it's my little Pama Poo. He's opening the door right now. <laughs> He loves his mom, and he doesn't like it when I come down here. All right, come here, Vinny. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hello, everyone. Okay, I just had to do that real quick because he's so cute. He, like, actually just busted the door down, and I swore I shut it because it's really hot down here right now and the air conditioning doesn't work in my finished basement, but it works upstairs. <laughs> All right. Anyways, this is a person that's going to, you know, it probably is like a cancer Scorpio or Pisces doesn't have to be, but this person wants to offer you a cup of love, you know, so you may be finding someone new this month and maybe that's where that transformation comes in. Maybe like, this person, like, inspires you to transform. All right, I just need to give myself a little bit of room to clarify here. All right, so three of pentacles. All right, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, which is yours. You're working on something, and I think it's that transformation. I don't need to clarify it because I already know that's what you're working on. You're working on a transformation for yourself. That's what you want. You know, you want something different that is going to make you 
happy. You want to feel that happiness that you know you have to give and you want someone to give you. So that is what you're going to be working on this month. Okay, death. I am not going to say this is a breakup. I'm not saying you haven't been through a breakup. You probably have been through a breakup. But I really feel like this is more about transformation. And this person may even come back because you've transformed. And remember, your overall energy is the lovers. So do I need to say more? Love is love is. Now that I've seen the rest of this all kind of laid out with the Hydrophant and Temperance and the Swords, like, I get you've probably been through a breakup, but I think you're going to get some good loving before the end of the month is over. All right, let's check it out. Queen of Cups, the most loving queen in the deck, okay? That's like Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces, the water sign, you know, she gives the most love. She is the most loving queen in the deck. Like, there's nothing like that. And then after that, you get the sun, which is the happiest card in the deck. You cannot get happier than that. And this is on top of your transformation. So you just need to make sure, like, you work on yourself. Like, work on that transformation and making yourself into not what other people want you to be, but what you know will make you happy. Okay, and then after that is the Four of Cups. Okay, again, the Cups are going to be, you know, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But, you know what, this person is kind of ignoring that one little cup. So I figure in your transformation, you're not looking at these three full cups. And somebody's giving that cup to you and you're not looking back to see it. That's going to be your transformation is looking for what's missing and what you're not seeing. What are you not seeing? There is something, your life is full and it's beautiful and there is something you are missing that you're not appreciating and that's gonna be your transformation. That's what Spirit says right now. Okay, so the Hydrophant, again, that can be a Taurus. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta itch to my back real quick. It's so itchy. I hate staying inside so much because my skin gets dry, but what are you going to do? Okay. All right. So we're going to clarify this. This is in your subconscious feelings. So this is going to be, I feel like the most important card for you is like, what do you, is this work or is this love? Okay. We have the six of rods, which is victory. Okay. And that can be wands which also means um, Aries, Taurus, and Leo. Sorry, I just had to cross it out real quick because I do a pre-shuffle and I think of things and I have to cross them out after I already say them. Um, but you guys know you're going to have victory over this because you're Taurus or Virgos. And I feel like you might be dating a Taurus because it keeps coming out of my mouth. But you're Virgos. You're both air signs. Look for a Taurus. Just telling you. Okay, and then we have the five of rods after that, which is the five of wands, which can be conflict. And I feel like you might have a little bit of conflict over the way you're going to transform. Like possibly you're not going to be as agreeable with people. And you are going to say, you know what? No, I've been agreeable with you. I'm always kind. But today, this is what I want to do. And this is what I want out of my life. And I feel like that's a transformation you need to make. You need to do it. You need to be selfish this month. I hate saying that. I mean, don't be mean. But you need to fill this up. You know, I may even pull you a chakra card at the end. Okay, after that we have the King of Pentacles. All right, that's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I'm feeling like that's you. Like, you're going to get your pentacles in order. And I, you may be stressing a little bit about those pentacles or, or happy house, happy home. It can also mean that. But you're going to get everything in order this month because you're going to go through this transformation and get the sun because you're finally going to see this cup that you've been blinded to. You're going to see it. Okay, so in your obstacles category, we have temperance. So you're having a problem with balance right now. And just kind of like 
testing waters and deciding what's right. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, we have the Ten of Rods. So obviously you have a lot of burdens on your back right now. Like you're going through all these burdens and you're almost there though. Just remember when you get to a Ten, the only place to go is to an Ace. So you're almost done. Like you're almost through this part. And then you go to the Two of Pentacles. And this is a little bit of jugging and decision making. So there's going to be a lot of decision making this month. Not only about who you want to be as a person, but about what you want to do with your life and your love life. This is a love reading. You know, it is your August monthly love reading. But I feel like you guys really have to put yourselves together in the way you want to be put together in order to get what you want. All right. And then double confirmation on the lovers, Gemini. You definitely might be dealing with a little Gemini right now, you little Virgos. But um, I, I think there is going to be good loving going on. I was almost thinking that this was going towards career a little bit. And I feel like the first part of the month, like this first part right here, was a little bit career. But now we're getting back into the loving. That was your overall energy. I don't think I've ever gotten two lovers in the same reading. Get ready. Okay. Exercise. Take some vitamins. You're going to need your energy. That's all I got to say. <laughs> You're totally going to need your energy. <laughs> okay. What other things? Other people think that you're really stressed out and not sleeping at night. And that's the influence they may be giving you. You may be getting a little bit of sympathy right now with the swords. And that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So let's see why. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, five of swords. That's, again, that's more conflict. Like, people might be thinking, like, you're conflicted, but I feel like they don't feel like you're fighting with other people. I feel like they think you're fighting yourself. And then you have the hangman. You may be a little stagnant. Like, and I didn't say this in this video, but I went to the dentist today, so it may be a little numb and say things a little funny. Okay but a little bit stagnant and you're not, um, how do I want to word this? People think that you're not moving on the way you should. You're holding on to something that you need to let go of. Even though it's so hard to let go of that thing, I feel like you need to let it go and you need to just be happy with your life and your career. Cause I really feel like this is a mix of life and career. Like, remember, take what resonates with you. Don't make this your story, but that's what I feel. All right, and then we have another major arcana, which is the moon, which means people think you're a little bit maybe depressed and just going within. And maybe you are going a little within, but don't go too within because don't miss out on two lover cards. You could get amazing loving. I mean, I'm not feeling like this is just like, options like I'm feeling like this is like serious loving I can't believe I just did that but whatever <laughs> okay so now we have the three of wands and we have options again options it's all about decisions this month it's all about making the right decisions for you who do you want to be who do you want to be with what do you want to do with your life let's see Eight of rods, messages back and forth. You want somebody that's going to give you a lot of messages. You want somebody that's going to go back and forth with you. This is a wand. Oh, the other card just fell. Sorry. So that's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Um, you want communication. You want to feel that passion back and forth. You know, you want a good morning and the good morning and you want a good night at night. And you want to know, you know, someone to message you like, how's your lunch? How are you doing today? That's what you want. And then you get your king of wands. And you know what I say about wands? Like, you're going to use it right with all that lover's energy. Okay, again, that's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. And you're, I think, by the end of the month, it's going to be pretty obvious. This is in the what you should do category. So you're just going to be messaging and having fun. And then you're going to be the queen of swords and that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And you're going to cut out whatever doesn't serve you. And I think that is, goes perfect with everything because she makes decisions and she just cuts out the bull crap because this is in the what you should do category. So you know what? Make your decisions and stick to them. Be like, you know what? 
this is the person I want. This is the way I want to control my life. This is how I want to be as a person. This is how I want to run my family. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to be so quiet that people think I'm depressed. I'm going to be outwards about it. And I'm going to, you know, just submit it to the universe. And I'm going to give it out. And I'm going to follow through with it. And at the end of that, you get the Knight of Cups, which is, you know, possibly a new relationship. It might be old, a relationship. It could be someone from the past. I'm not saying it couldn't be. I mean, Cups are, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But when I look at this card, this is, you know, a knight that just offers one cup. But that's where you start. Don't push anybody too further, too far at first because you guys are going to be really exhilarated this month. And you're going to be ready to rock, you know. And then you get the knight of wands. And the knight of wands is, you know, he kind of brings the sexy time. He can be a player sometimes. Maybe you're going to be a player this month. Maybe that's where all this loving comes from. Maybe you is the player this month, Virgo. We'll see. We're just going to have to check that out. Because after that, you get the Ace of Cups. You got a lot of cups. Like, there is a lot of love going on here. There's a lot of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. I mean, look at all these. There's cups, pentacles, swords, and a lot of love. There's just a lot of love, but it's all about you making the right decisions, you know, because there's a lot of swords too. So those, you know, that's a lot of truth and that's a lot of decisions. So it's just all about having hard hearts with people, finding people that you vibe with and giving it a go. Oh my gosh. And then you get the Ten of Cups. Oh my Lord. Then the Ten of Cups for your final card. Ten of Cups. That is amazing. That's ultimate happiness. Like, ultimate love, ultimate happiness. Like, you're going to be, like, glowing a big rainbow of love around you by the end of the month, I have a feeling. Like, you guys just aren't going to be able to stand up. All right, let's do some romance angel cards. I got the new edition, just so you know, so they're littler. Because I have Carpo Tunnel, because I used to flip houses. So my hands are not very good. And I did tarot cards for a long time, so I got to be cool with them. All right, let's see what's going on with the little romance angel cards here. And we'll get y'all out of here for the month. But I'll see you for the weeklies, because those are probably going to get posted tonight, too, okay? Heart to heart conversations. What I just say, have a heart to heart with someone. You know, like if you have something to say, say it. All right. Finances and career. Financial issues are now a factor in your love life. I don't really feel like it's a factor in your love life. I feel like it's a factor for you in your love life. I feel like you need to feel financially secure before you feel financially secure with another person. And that's where this first part of the reading came from. What I tell you, and then trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And, you know, you do have to have faith in a person. Just make sure they have everything that you want. I mean, no one's going to have everything that you want, but make sure that you, like, you know, they have, like, they have love to offer. They're not emotionally blocked off. And their heart is, like, open to it. Make sure they're not a player and make sure that they're ready for love. All right, thank you so much for watching my video. If you made it to the end, please subscribe and don't forget to comment for the free reading. I would really appreciate subscribers right now. I promise I'm a good reader and I'm getting better every week. I'm doing the best that I can. And I love you guys and have a great August and I'll see you in my next video. Please put me on your list. Love you. I blow kisses at the end of every video. I'm a retard like that. I can't help it.